Okay, uh, we're going to start by creating a game engine project. Uh, so what we're going to do is go to new project. And we're going to start with a class library application and it's literally going to be called game engine. Something very, very simple. Hit OK. Apologies if the sound quality is not very good. I'm using an external microphone. Uh, what we're going to do then is go into our Solution Explorer and we're going to make uh, a few extra changes to set it up as a test bed for testing our game engine as well. So I'm going to right click on the solution, add new project. And this time I'm going to select Windows Form application and call it simply test bed. And wait for that to load up. And then what I'm going to do is again in Solution Explorer, right click on test bed, set a startup project. We're then going to start integrating the two projects together. So another right click, add reference. And we're going to add a reference to the game engine. So if I now press play, you'll see that we get an amazing empty Windows form. OK, so what do we do now? Well, we need to set up our form so that we're going to have an object which um, the game engine, the, the first thing we're going to create is the actual uh, game object itself. So to have a visual version of the game object, I'm going into the Form 1 properties. I've selected the events. and I'm going to find where it says Paint. Double click on that. And then in Form 1 Paint at the moment, I'm just going to draw a filled in circle. Um, you can create any colour you like. I'm going to use a red one, so new solid brush, colour.red. And my rectangle, at the moment, I'm just going to check it works by doing a, um, a ball that starts off at the top left corner, 0, 0, and the size is going to be 20 by 20. So if I run this now, I should have a red ball. There we go, right in the top corner, not really doing much at the moment. I'm now going to add to the top here using Game Engine so that I can reference. Uh, there we go. So I can reference the Game Engine within my code nice and easily. At the moment, again, that doesn't actually make any difference. And now I'm going to do some work on the Game Engine itself. So I'm going to close the tabs for the form, and I'm on my class one for my Game Engine. So let's shorten the properties. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just like we added a reference to the test bed, reference to the game engine within test bed, sorry. I'm now going to add a reference into game engine, but this time I'm going to select the .NET tab and I'm going to find system.drawing. It's a bit further down because for some reason it's not in alphabetical order. This is because we're going to do a lot of graphical items in the game engine and the class library doesn't automatically have the drawing system built in. So I've added the drawing system in and I'm going to now put that at the top here using system drawing so I'll be able to access drawing based items. Next thing I'm going to do is change where it says class1.cs. I'm going to rename that to basics and it will ask her a question. Just hit yes so it now creates a class called basics as well. It doesn't actually mean anything if I uh, build the solution just as you can see down there succeeds. If I press play, it does exactly the same. But we're now all set up and ready to go to start actually creating a fully fledged game engine on this computer.